athletes do dumbass things if it improves their performance. Okay, so you've probably heard of the javelin, where you throw it over your head and you try to throw a spear essentially as far as possible. And you think, that's probably the best technique since they've been doing it back in ancient times, both in battle, also for sport. I mean, the ancient Egyptians, the ancient Greeks, they've been doing it for years and years, so they must have figured out that that's the most effective way, correct? I've done some previous videos in the long jump where we saw the somersault technique, which proved to be effective, yet banned because of injury risk as well as the high jump might be effective. However, there's also that injury risk. So then I got a question about the spinning of the javelin. And as it turns out, back in the 1950s, there was two Spaniards by the name of Felix Resquin and Miguel de la Cuadra Salcido. And what they found is that if you spin around in circles, kind of like a discus thrower or a hammer thrower, and then you release that javelin at the optimal point, you can actually get significant increase in your performance and distance from the javelin throw. It's actually modeled after the Basque bar, which was a heavy metal rod that they used to spin around circles and launch. But nonetheless, what they found is that the current world record at the time was around 80 meters, and they were throwing at 112 meters. That's almost 20 meters farther. And if you think about the eternal world record for javelin at 104 meters back in 1984, eclipse that by over eight meters. So this is shown to be when done right, a significant improvement in performance. However, this record was never approved by track and field's governing body, IAAF World Athletics. They deemed this technique too dangerous for the public and spectators, as during the rotation, the tip of the javelin would at some point be focusing on them. So now if we look at the official World Athletic rule books, it states that the javelin must be held at the grip with only one hand, and it must be thrown over the shoulder or upper part of the throwing arm, and it can't be slung or hurdled. Non-orthodox styles are not permitted. It also states that until the javelin has been thrown, the athlete cannot turn completely around so that their back is towards the throwing arm. So now I want to hear from you. Should that world record of 112 meters still stand? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below.